What's up, friendos? It's me, it's me, it's Exotic MTG playing some big time. We are in a prestige dungeon. They're brand new dungeons in this action MMORPG. And we are rocking one right now. Levels 11 through 13, I do believe. And I am level 11, so it's kind of perfect for me. Um, as we're playing and killing enemies and fauna, the little non-enemy guys here, these cute little things. Every, every time you kill one, there's a chance for a uh, drop. A drop like a crypto coin or materials for crafting in the game. It's stunning, as you can see, to be able to play a game and actually earn while doing it. So that's what we're doing right now. There, I just got a token. And uh, that was, I think, three. Yeah, so it's on the left side. There's a little log there of what you pick up and loot. And this here, this uh, red chest, this is actually great because you don't get these every dungeon, but this is a demon chest. So we're gonna be able to kill some extra stuff okay so we're going to take our hourglasses off and we are going to do the dungeon or i'm sorry the demon chest without our hourglasses on because you don't get the drop rate uh luck edition with them on so let's drop a blizzard here stand in the middle of it anything that comes to us basically gonna get waxed isn't it beautiful isn't it let's do a fire wave oh they interrupted my spell because there's too many of them now Let's go ahead and throw a frost ball at him. So we're not getting drops here, so I took off the hourglasses, which do tick down in time. And you have to craft those. Or you can buy them in the marketplace. There is a player-owned marketplace in this game. Very exciting and thrilling game for sure to be able to get loot in the game as cosmetics uh, and NFTs and being able to list them for sale. I actually put up a bunch of stuff for rent last night that is already rented out. Really, really neat. And they interrupted me again. Let's fire wave. If they hit you at the exact time you, you drop out a spell, it will interrupt it. Demon chest cleanse. So let's go and put back on our hourglasses. Now, the reason you don't always want these on is because they do tick down in available time. So we are now ready to rock with more of those uh, crypto drops, time crystals that help you craft hourglasses, um, unlock hourglass slots. There's so much stuff here. If you have specific questions about the game, feel free to add me on Discord. My name is ExoticMTG, all lowercase. Always willing to answer questions, help people out. Um, so yeah, we definitely don't mind that. So we just got another three big time tokens right there. Very nice. Let's go ahead and uh, defuse this bomb. The more people that are on any of these quest items that need defused or destroyed or collected, the more people want it, the faster it goes. So yeah, if you uh, if you're if you're looking at this game and you're wondering if it's going to be successful, just watch the gameplay because all the 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 economy stuff, the player owned marketplace, and everything is just all cherry on top. This MMO, I've been playing MMO since 1999, RuneScape, Dark Ages of Camelot, World of Warcraft, all that kind of stuff. This is going to be here for a long time, y'all. It really is. This is forward thinking as you can get. And my guild members would uh, would agree. Speaking of uh, guild, we do have an awesome guild called the Norsty Realms Fam. We are united, united with the fam guild. If you're looking at playing this game and being in a guild, you can also reach out to me um, in the Discord. Again, exotic MTG, all lowercase, so you can friend me anytime. All right, trying to find our next mob. The fauna are also worth killing because they too can drop um, tokens and crystals and materials for crafting. All stuff that is very important in the big time economy. Uh, I believe Killer is uh, muted because I'm making a YouTube video. All right, so we got a mod chip. Now let me explain the mod chips, okay? The mod chips are mythic and rarity. They cannot be uh, exchanged they cannot be exchanged. You cannot share it with another player. You cannot drop it for a... Oh my god. Someone dropped a fucking town portal. All right, everybody, I'm back. Sorry about the the town portal that took us back to town in that last dungeon, but we're back with our team. Uh, taking a town portal does exactly that. You go back to town. Um, but we were talking about the mod chips, and the reason that those are important is because everyone that's doing this crafting, refining, um, all of that stuff in your meta space... Uh, you want those rollies, I call them rollies, but they're essentially these mod chips and you can use them for almost like a Wheel of Fortune deal where you spin it 
Um, the more of them you have, the more you can spin, and the um, outcome of the spin is what you get as a bonus. So very helpful stuff. Uh, and that's like kind of the hottest commodity I'm looking for right now because I do love my crafting. So this is our Egyptian themed dungeon uh, that we're rocking in right now. And it is against the, uh, the frog and dinos, I believe. The frogs and dinos. This is not a cyborg one, at least not this time. Uh, when you do a dungeon, you're going to get a random map and you're going to get a randomly generated uh, enemy group which is actually really cool. It keeps things fresh, uh, whether you're getting dinosaurs, bugs, uh, cyborgs, and I'm sure they're going to be adding another enemy class very soon. Uh, it looks like we did level up, so let's go ahead and put some points into Lesser Frostball and some Intel for more damage, because a lot of our magic abilities will scale off of Intel. As you can see, the maps on the top right, you can hit M and then it brings a bigger map up. And that is, this is actually the most important dungeon to have a huge map on because how much of a maze this really is. Uh, we're going to drop a blizzard right on this T-Rex. It's going to just absolutely eat at his health and he's already dead. Come over here. Again, really important. We want to bust all these urns. The urns are going to drop potions, health and mana, speed, all that stuff. But it's also going to drop... Uh, big time tokens. It's going to drop time crystals, uh, materials for crafting, very important. And this purple potion uh, is good. Now let's talk about the purple Pansia potions real fast. And I have a stack of 20 in my inventory. I had 19. I just picked one up for 20. And when we find a hoarder bot, hopefully we find one in here, but we probably won't since I'm actually looking for one. But essentially a hoarder bot, you give them a stack of potions. And I like to give the purples because it's the highest rarity of, of, of uh, potion. But you give them a stack of 20 and he's going to give you a huge bag of goodies in return. And you could even get a, an NFT or cosmetic, whatever you want to call it, um, tokens and other things. So uh, definitely uh, think you should keep a stack of 20 Pansia potions on you. And if you don't have 20, then just keep collecting them until you do. And here is a level two trainer for a healer. I do have a healer. Now, this is really cool. I'm going to switch pocket watches. And as I switch pocket watches... I'm going to become that class, those starting stats, those skills. And now I'm giving 15,000 gold to this trainer to unlock more abilities for my Quantum Fixer, who is the healer. Now I'm going to go back to the watch that I'm running right now. Now when you put a brand new watch on, you're going to go back to level one. Uh, and you're going to grind that up as you go. But you can interchange watches just like I just did there. Uh, on the fly in safe zones. In safe zones only. Um, but so I've leveled this up to 13. The other one was what, 17, something like that. It keeps the level that you grind. Um, but when you do start it fresh, it is level one really cool leveling system after playing MMOs for as long as I have, I think it's the coolest way to do a leveling system. Very unique. I don't know another MMO that does anything like that. So very forward thinking on that again. Oh, look more mod chips. These are the rollies that I'm talking about. There's nine of them here. That's a very, very good number. Uh, oftentimes you will get one and you will get two, but nine is great. I have seen up to 23. 23 is the highest I have seen. Team's kicking ass and taking names in here. I'm just going to collect some more gold. You can have a team up to six. Very important to know that. Team up to six. And if you are brand new to this game, looking for access, uh, looking for friends to play with, looking for a guild, I would highly suggest going to exoticmtg.com, finding our Discord link there or even down in the description below. Um, I think that's long enough, a, a good starter video. Uh, there's gonna be plenty of questions and you can put those down in the comments below and I'll make videos based off of your questions to explain those. I, I am uh, a part of the big time team. So I do look forward to hearing from you, speaking with you and helping you in your big time startup, your career, if you will. So again, I'm Marcus with Exotic MTG. I stream every weekday from about 9 to close. Close is usually 2 to 3 p.m. That's central time. We'd love to have you here. We do Magic the Gathering as well. So if you're looking for sealed magic products, we also have that at ExoticMTG.com, along with our merch and playmats. I hope you all have an amazing week. I'm Marcus, and I'm out of here. Peace.